What up, y'all? I just want to come back at you. I guess this is Random Topics Part 2. I love doing random topics, y'all, because as y'all know, I don't uh, want a lot of idiots coming to my channel for uh, any reason at all. But, uh, yeah, I was talking about this housing thing. And, you know, the thing is, too, let's say you try to get in some kind of program where you're going to get cheap rent. I guarantee you, you're going to be living around some Theralix. You're going to be living around uh, dude, uh, dudes with tattoos or like the dudes who work at that White House. This situation that I am in right now, y'all, is the most profitable profitable and comfortable situation I have been in uh, in at least three years. Okay, sometimes I can't even fathom it. But when you're making money, uh, if I want to go get a massage, I can get a massage. If I want to go here, I want to go here. If I want to dress up in my casual co coat and go eat at an expensive restaurant, guess what? I got the money to do that. This, this is the life cannot get no better than this. Now, if I wanted a permanent residence, uh, I would have to go to Vegas. I couldn't do this Chicago thing. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all know I've been seeing some more incidents where I've been parked on the street, and this is in the white communities. And I've been seeing people pull up and still uh, go into people's cars and uh, try to take catalytic converters. I'm seeing this, y'all. This is happening in white communities, not Latino or black communities. This is happening in white folks' communities. I see it. And I was listening to Into the Stars, and he was talking about, well, there's another situation. If they really wanted to stop catalytic converters from getting stolen, they would stop it. It's very simple. Uh, turns out uh, a lot of po politicians are involved because this is like some kind of million-dollar uh, uh, scheme with the whole catalytic converter thing. And but you best believe politicians are involved in this because whenever they, whenever they don't uh, stop some kind of criminal activity from happening, that's because it, because politicians are involved in it. They, they got their hands in a cookie jar. It's a sick, sick society, y'all. I mean, it's terrible. Just narcissistic and, and exploitative. And uh, that's why I listen to people like Joseph Chaperone because to, to help, you know, he's helped me over the years. And I still listen to his lectures over and over and over because it's such a, it's such a parasitic system. You know, it's, it's disgusting. You know, it's just disgusting. And um, it's just so crazy. And another thing, too, I tell y'all, man, I've been running to, you know, the some of the females I do run to. I tell you something, man, all these feminists, all these women that are feminists, they're all the same. The ones that hate men, I tell y'all, boy, it was a few years, you know, a long time ago, I couldn't pick up that. It's like a demon in, in these feminist type of women. And they're all the same. They dress the same. They act the same. They all hang around queers and they hate men. There's so many type of these females out here. I, guys. This is what I'm saying, man. It's so good about being able to get around. I see all this stuff. I picked up all these demonic spirits that's going on in the city. I enter a certain neighborhood. I know what these people going to act like in this neighborhood. I know what people going to act like in that neighborhood. It's the same thing over and over and over again. You know what I mean? It's disgusting. But, yeah, if I wanted a permanent residence, uh, I, I would be on my way back to Vegas. Because there's no way I'm going to pay to live around criminals when I can't park my car in a garage. You see what I'm saying? If something is making you money, like my car is right now, guess what? You have to, you have to stay by that. Uh, I will have to be in a situation where I have secure parking. Uh, where No matter where I go, my, 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 my car is my money. And it has to be secure. I don't, I don't give a goddamn. Now, there's guys out here I see that are allegedly living in cars working on these platforms and I, I, I those are the guys the ones who have children they got these children with these women they're not living with the woman and they doing like uh gig red and gig black out, out of their car and they got children and paying child support them the guys i feel sorry for okay because to me that's just horrible you got fathers not even at home with their children because because of this whole feminist agenda living in uh, you know living out of their car doing these type let me tell you something, this cowboy lifestyle is only for a single guy like myself. It ain't for no father. Father should be at home fathering his children. Um, another thing too, y'all, I've been noticing a lot of people looking like male and female at the same time. And I, I've been trying to figure out what have they exactly done to these, to these people, whereas they look like they're male and female. I've been running into so many. That, it used to be like a few people like that, but now it's a lot of people like that. So obviously... They've been doing an agenda for last I don't know how many years to combine a male and female. They want one. They want one type of species now. They don't want male and female. They want to uh, uh, join those two together to make it one. Uh, they don't want no more identity. Uh, I'm male. This is female. No, no. They want just one, and then they want that one to 
be like a demonic host at the same time. Like I said, uh, they only want hive-minded asexual robots for the new world order. That's all they want. You see, that's all they want. Hive-minded asexual robots. That's it. That's it. Uh, let me see. I got about a mile left to my destination. Other than that, y'all, you know, gig red, like I said, gig red is just paying me really, really well. Um, but yeah, and another thing too, even when you look at uh, white folks and how they living, you don't see no young, you don't see no young men, 25, 30 years old, raising no family, living in these houses. All the people that have homes, they that come from the last generation. Okay, everything is being destroyed right now, guys. It don't matter if you're black, white, you live in the suburbs, the city. Everything is being destroyed, as far as family, what's supposed to be. Well, that's how we know we live in the end times. But no. Even if you want to look at white folks, you don't you don't see no 30, 35 year old young men who have homes in the suburbs and raising a family. They don't want that either. That all that they want, all that they want gone. All of that. Most of these people living in homes in the suburbs are like old folks and people who have like mental ill, like old folks, and then they like be taking care of their children who like kind of mentally ill. You see, it's got it's always it's the same situation where it's like something's wrong with them. You know what I mean? Nothing is right. That's why this place is under punishment. America, you see, but uh, I'm trying to see if anything else wants to say. But yeah, I, I tell y'all, I, man, this is one female. Remember that female I was talking about working at that restaurant? The thirsty girl used to ask me, "Was I thirsty?" She, she turns out she a feminist. How do I know that? Because I because I could pick up the spirit off a person when they are feminists. And don't let me tell you something. The only thing that can get you trouble in trouble, guys, is having ulterior motives. As long as you don't have ulterior motives. Can't nobody fuck with you, man. And and guess what? If somebody do try to fuck with you, your your guardian angels will have your back. That's the only way the spirit world is gonna is gonna fuck with you. Is if you don't have no ulterior motives. That's when they got your back. That's when they got your back. Is when you don't have no ulterior motives. When you don't have no ulterior motives, the spirit world can rock with you. You got ulterior motives, you're trying to play people out here, you're trying to play people stupid and use people and exploit people. The spirit world don't the spirit world ain't uh they ain't they ain't messing with you. That's how it goes down here. So that's why I'm heavily protected. You see? That's why I'm heavily protected. Um, let me see if I got anything else to say. I'm almost at the drop off. But yeah, guys, what, what, a, what a terrible system. And now would I actually go back to Vegas and, and go live at a residence? I don't know. I don't know. The spirit had to come into me to do that. I really don't want to. Uh, I don't have no desire to be in Vegas because everything that I, I want is right here in Chicago and it's even better than Vegas you know what I'm saying so yep but yeah next week I'm gonna keep that in mind about the NFL when I'm because I'm gonna do a big ticket next week and I'm supposed to be laying a little bit more money next week to try to hit a big ticket and I'm, I'm not gonna be playing with these spreads no more I'm just gonna have to go money line because a lot of people got played with the NFL y'all and uh yep but uh that's all I got to, oh being off meat, being off meat for two weeks. Oh my God, I feel like a whole a whole another person. Let me tell you something. You get off meat, you detox off meat. Your stomach and your digestive system will thank you. <laughs> Even I mean everything improves when you stop eating meat. But I do plan to eat meat very soon because <laughs> I'm supposed to be going out soon with a friend. So uh, that's why I'm fasting so I can so I can gorge that one night on meat. Other than that, y'all. I uh, hope everybody have a good night. Talk to y'all later. Peace.